Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. And did you know that today is D-Day? D-Day? What's D-Day? Oh, so I happen to be of the generation that's... Well, I think I might have heard about it. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kem on with comments on the headlines of today. With Major Willie and Thermia's take that never made it ashore. Oh yeah, my father was known as... My father was known as Major Willie because his, his name was Wilhelm and he was a major, but my father was uh, in fact, he was in one of those great amphibious tanks that were supposed to go work well in a lake, but didn't function well in uh, on an ocean with the water moving in it. While his tank sank, everyone in his crew got out but the driver, and the driver couldn't get out because he was in the bottom. So, and he spent, my father got to see D-Day watching it bobbing up and down in the ocean. Uh, but here's the difference is, my father had, my father, Knew, my father was smart enough to get a, a Navy life jacket, not an Army life jacket. The Army life things were basically belts that turned people over in the water and they drowned. So, so he, him and his crew, uh, I think uh, they lost 20 some tanks and, and two or three hundred men on that landing. It was one of the worst disasters until the Battle of the Bulge for the Patton's tank crew. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, the president basically, the people on the extreme left are the Republicans. The Republicans are trying to make a non-issue into another scandal against the president. And the president this morning, I love this. This is one of the great moments when they wouldn't stop talking about the thing. With, because the whole world is pissed off about what he did. The president of the United States is cut walking away from talking to the press with all of you. <laughs> yeah. And the president continues trying to end problems over the Taliban release. Well, he can't. He just changed it every day. He, uh, you know, like everyone knows, the the whistle has been blown on him, on the uh, the guy. The reason why he wasn't being taken out, what why they didn't pay ransom a long time ago, they just have somebody, some third country, pay the ransom, and then we don't. You know, everybody knows it comes to the United States because the guy that hand grabbed him. He was in the hands of people that grabbed, the, like the 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 um, Muslim version of the guys in Mexico that grabbed millionaires' kids for money. They they yeah. could be bought easily, but um, then, but uh, even Hillary Clinton said this was a stupid thing to do when Obama first brought it up. But they said that this is the most unbelievable thing. He actually thought that people were going to cheer him bringing a guy home because um, one of the person said, Can, "I know it one." The Dennis Miller, could he be that stupid to have not known the guy was listed as a deserter? And they said, yep, he could be that stupid because they don't tell him these things. I think he actually does find these things out on television. When he says, I didn't know about it, it's, I saw, I, I was watching television, the story came up because his staff doesn't, okay, we're also going to try something else because I'm a minority. When I was younger, I grew up with a lot of people, Latinos and Afro-Americans in the area that I lived in. And um, if you'd have basically treated them like they were kids, they would have been pissed off. Obama is being treated like he is a black child that can't do things without other white people's assistance. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't get that white people's assistance, he doesn't know what's going on. That shouldn't be the way it is. The guy is an educated person that should be able to do things on his own? No, they have to They have to rally around and protect the first black president, which is why there will never be a second black president. It won't happen. Mm -hmm. And no, Obama didn't negotiate with Harris to bring Bergdahl home. That's what he's saying now, because these people... Well, who in the world did he these, negotiate with? Um, he, he didn't negotiate. It was it never happened. The same as yeah. the same as they're sticking to the thing that six people that were killed out hunting for uh, Bergdahl never got killed out hunting for him. It didn't happen. Even though military death benefits are being paid and they swore the family the families had to sign an agreement that they would not talk about it. Well, when Obama basically blew Obama blew everything when he did this, so every one of them that basically is, uh, you know, they're, they're all run, every one of them are running the risk of going to federal prison because of the president basically broke his agreement with everyone. These people were, they were not to do what he did, Obama did it anyway. Oh my gosh. Um, Sterling's sale of the Clippers may be halted due to his wife. Yeah. 
because uh, the, you know it's it's on again, it's off again, it's on, it's off again, because uh, uh, she wants a bigger bigger slice of the pie than she was originally going to get, and so what we means it goes back to the NBA. The NBA, in order to keep its books from being opened because they did something stupid, it, it, it's an understood fact. NBA wanted to have a black owner, so they figured they'd go after Sterling, who was the oldest owner in the thing, and seize the team and give it to Magic Johnson. But then it got so out of control that they decided to pay, buy Sterling off because he was going to go to court. And so they got a $2 billion franchise fee for a team that basically is only worth a quarter of a million. And when Sterling then threatened to sue him and open the books, all of a sudden, he gets the two billion dollars tax free because the billion dollars he was suing him for is being used to pay the taxes. And now Sterling's wife wants, because she's in a divorce thing, wants a larger piece of the pie that she was going to get. So it's going to be back to the NBA and more money coming from the NBA to <coughs> make certain that she gets what she wants so they don't have to go to court and open up all their books. Because otherwise they have to go to court and open up all and their books. And they do not want that to happen. Wow. See, all it means is they're, uh, it, 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 Mark Twain would have said that uh, they're getting exactly what they deserve. They mm -hmm. tried to pull a fast one, and uh, it, it, I, Mark Twain said specifically, often in life there is such a thing as, uh, 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 you know, as a miracle from God. <laughs> <laughs> he was an atheist, so. And, and co-founder of Birds Bees says he was ousted. Yeah, because he, he's, the, he's, he's the face on the, th on, the, on the stuff, because what happens is Bert, Bert's Bees is becoming a large commercial organization, and they probably soon will have nothing to do with bees anymore and wax products. They're going to go with other, other methods. You know, they go petroleum product. Consumers. I know, and still call it Bert's Bees because of the name. Yeah, but it will no longer have anything to do with Bert or Bees. And Melissa McCarthy, designers wouldn't make Oscar dresses in my size. Um... Why should they? That's I mean, right. why should I make a size 18 dress for somebody? If the, I mean, this is the woman's choice. The woman, the woman has a choice to be uh, uh, overweight, or she has a choice to get a gown designed for her by people that don't design heavy gowns. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are no such things, really. You will, you will not go to any store in this nation and find a size 16 evening gown. They don't do they it. They don't. No, because most evening gowns are designed for women, the fashion models. They're not designed, okay. Well, they also don't look the same on somebody that's really big. Yeah, you have to design it specifically for them. She, she basically tried, she tried to force people into it, so she found somebody that would design for overweight people. And here's the thing, too. My, well, that's my, good, for her, good for her. Yeah, right? years ago, my mother, had a, my mother had a gown designed by Christian Dior for her. Chris, my mother wanted a gown. My mother, okay, at that time they still do it. You know, a gown for when you were at your proper weight, a gown when you weren't at your proper weight, and a gown, an extra gown, so in between. Christian uh, Dior said flat out, no, he said, if I design you three gowns, you will be, a, you will put yourself in the weight to feed each one of those gowns. If you only have one gown, and it's an expensive gown, you're going to always maintain the weight for that gown. Today, a woman can get something in 18, 19 different sizes, so you see women going yo-yoing. I mean, they'll be thin, they'll be heavy, they'll be fat, they'll be trim. You know, uh, if you give, uh, if the, you did not have overweight people when you didn't have 40 different sizes of clothes for them to wear, mm -hmm. male and female. And Ed O'Bannon lawyers, EA will testify it wanted to pay players. Oh, well, yeah, the, uh, the, the, but the, uh, you can't, here's the trick is, the, the, those football play, those college athletes are opening up a disaster that they cannot get out of because they aren't paying taxes on the stuff they're getting under the table. They're going to have to start paying taxes. Plus the fact, colleges, only the major colleges will maintain sports programs. All the other colleges will drop out. They'll drop out. Because, because yeah. they don't have the money to pay it. Because you're not, you're looking at, um, say a quarterback, okay, like Johnny Mazzell would have been making an easy million dollars a year as a college football player. And uh, how many colleges can afford to play a player like that? Right now he was getting a scholarship, I know, um, souvenir signing, parties, all this stuff. 
that all of this was being done, but he, that's got to stop when they start paying the players. I know, and remember, that's just one player. It's one player. They've got 48 on a team. Mm. And you can't do it for just football. You have to pay all of the sports in your system. If you have football, you've got to phone, fund a lot of women's sports and pay women athletes on a, on the same basis. I mean, if Mazelle is getting a million dollars, you're going to have to pay some woman in her sport a million dollars. And Kentucky's Democratic Senate candidate is slamming Obama. Yeah, the Democrats are in terror of this guy. He said, uh, what is it? She said, every day he does something to make it harder for Democrats to get elected. And the Taliban has released a video showing the handover of Sergeant Bergdahl to U.S. Special Forces. Yeah, well, this guy's not coming back to the United States for a long time. They're going to keep him locked up out of this country because, uh, I mean, they, they knew Rolling Stone blew the whistle on the guy three years ago. They said, I love it to tell you her all the well, that we realize there may be some truth to it, but we can't get, the Rolling Stone wouldn't lie about a guy, okay, they hate the United States, they hate the military. You think they would put a, stub, a story up about him being a deserter and joining the Taliban? Mm. No, that was done because they, they could prove it was being done and they wanted to celebrate how corrupt our country was. Mm. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Well, it, it, it used to be said lying doesn't pay. Well, it does today.